Welcome back to Loving Living Local, everyone. We are back with our friends from Interstate Roofing. We have Ben and Lewis here um, in studio. I appreciate you coming and taking the time to give us all the information that really everyone should know about and some that we've mentioned can be overlooked from time to time. Um, so my biggest question is, how do you know when it's time to get a new roof and what like, what do you look for to know that a roofing company is going to fit your needs the best? Um, you're going to, when you know, you know you need a roof generally. When you start to find gr um, granules that are coming off the shingles, you'll find them in your gutters or on your sidewalks and your decks and pati patio covers and stuff like that. Um, that's usually a sign that your roof is delaminating and um, it's time to get a new roof or it's been impacted by hail. Um, and the next question you asked was um, when it's time to, um, how to choose a roofer, yeah. when to get a roofer. Um, th when choosing a roofer, you want to choose someone local. Okay. It's very important. Um, a lot of roofing companies, I see it all the time. They're like, oh, I got a new roof a year ago. And I call the roofer and their, their phone's this, you know, deactivated. They're not answering mm. their phone. So, I mean, it, it would be best practice to choose a roofer that's been in business for quite a few years. And you want to check, um, check with the attorney general's office, make sure that they're in good standings with the state and have good, you know, they have license and workers' comp and general liability. These things are very important. That's so. actually a really good point. Yeah, those, mm -hmm. I didn't even think of that. Mm -hmm. So, um, when it comes to the ACV policy and how does that differ from RCV policy? Sure. Hi, Kenny. Um, so, I think that's an important question. I think a lot of customers don't realize that they may have an ACV policy, which is an actual cash value policy, which what it essentially means is if you file a claim on your roof, uh, they're going to give you the value of the roof in the condition that it's in. Mm -hmm. They're not going to pay you. The difference is the RCV is the replacement cost value. You're going to have to make up that difference if you have an actual cash value policy versus the replacement cost value. Um, just important to know, I've run into situations where people think I have insurance right. and the insurance company is going to pay for my new roof and they find out they have an actual cash value policy and they get a, a quarter of the price of, uh, to replace their roof. So can my insurance raise my premiums when you have a roof claim? Yeah, no, that's a great question. No, um, they can't raise it specifically for you because you file a claim. If enough people in the area, if everybody files a claim due to mm -hmm. hail or, or whatever it is, uh, they can go in and, and raise everyone's premiums, but they cannot raise your premiums uh, for filing a claim. And then how do the insurance companies determine the value of a roof? That's probably a lot of the biggest question and concern on people's minds. So typically, the, um, after when a homeowner has identified hail or thinks they have hail, they'll call a roofer mm. um, that they trust or did their research on, and that roofer will show up, go over the things with them, and then they'll positively identify hail or damage, and then they'll instruct the homeowner to call in a claim. And when that homeowner calls in a claim, they'll send out an adjuster, and the adjuster um, sh should be present with your, your roofer. Right and they use a software program called Xactimate. And this program tells, you know, they put in the information that they got off your roof and they put it in that software program. It's the same software program we use. Right. And, and it gives them the pricing and all that stuff. And you know, insurance companies are really pushing right now um, the 2% and 1% policy. So what are those and what are they worth exactly? Uh, go ahead. So, well, the 1% and 2% policies are becoming really popular right now for the insurance companies because um, it's a, they're in it, they end up getting more money back if you file a claim. So, if you have a million dollar policy and you have a 1% or 2% policy, it means if you do have a claim, it's going to cost you ten or $20,000 right. out of pocket. So, wow. uh, you know, you may, your premiums may go down a little bit for your insurance, but if you have to file a claim, it's going to be very expensive, so you kind of have to weigh whether or not that's worth it. I think most importantly that um, the homeowners having the proper insurance mm -hmm. is best is best case practice for them. That's mm -hmm. most important because we're in the second highest hail claim state in the country. Um, we've had homeowners have had hail claims twice in one year, and that's a lot of money to come out of pocket when you have 
if you have a five hundred thousand dollar home and you're it's appraised at that value. Your insurance deductible, if you're a two percenter, that's ten thousand dollars out of pocket. Um, and a lot of homeowners are being tricked and switched to these policies because their carrier tells them it's cheaper. Wow. Okay. And, and it's. I would also suggest it's it's best case to um, make sure. I I would stay away from the big the big corporate insurance companies. I'm not going to name them, but mm -hmm. people there's some that are very obvious that. You know, because yeah. they don't like to pay. They're in the business to make money, not give money away. Well, that's a lot of good information, honestly. Like, those mm -hmm. are, there's so many details that I didn't even know about. So we appreciate it, as mm -hmm. always. Uh, we have Lewis and Ben here from Interstate Roofing. Um, yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you for it. having us. We of course. It. And the segment has been sponsored by Interstate Roofing. Make sure you go to interstateroofing.com to, uh, interstateroof.com, that is to make sure that you see all of the services that they provide and how they can help you out when it comes time.